A shooting ended in a crash in Pine Bluff, leaving two people dead and other injured. It happened late Thursday night. Police got a call of a car actually into a telephone pole. Riley Birdwell joining us now live. She is in Pine Bluff. Riley, you spoke with people who heard the gunshots. What was their reaction to all this? Well, Bob, the neighbor that I spoke with tells me that he's been living there uh, for all of his life on this land and he said that he heard about three to four gunshots but he did not hear the crash now he says that this neighborhood when growing up was very quiet but now things have started to pick up rain trickling down and cars slowly rolling by at the site of where one man lost his life. It's an unfortunate incident. According to Pine Bluff Police, late Thursday night, two men were shot while driving in their car. I think I was like around about 10 something, about three or four shots. That's about all I heard. Philander Green says he heard the gunshots. It didn't look like it was too far. It didn't sound like it was, you know, at the time, you know, so. It wasn't, it wasn't far. Police say the car crashed into the telephone pole at the intersection of 3rd and Hutchinson. When police arrived, they found one man dead and another one injured. The injured victim was then taken to the hospital. It's unfortunate, you know, and I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, there's so much stuff going on now, you know, it, you just have to be really careful. Green has lived in the area all of his life, but he says this type of situation isn't shocking. It used to be pretty quiet when I was coming up, you know, now it looked like you know, things and got kind of carried away. <laughs> so much crime and and stuff going on now, shooting and stuff, you know, people are getting hurt and maybe possibly killed. Pine Bluff Police Department tell me that this is the third homicide of the year and they are still looking for any suspect information. So if anyone has any information that they could give them that could help lead to an arrest, please give them a call immediately. Reporting live in Pine Bluff, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you guys. Riley, thank